we're underway. First of three rounds. It's a smart game plan to start hard for Ampo because notoriously catches them out. Oh, God, he knows he's got to win two of these three rounds. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I think it's also a, a, a competition between the power and the hands of Ampo. Walk out twice. And he's told me that every time he, particularly uh, from that first minute of the second round. Nice jab there for Ampo, but that forward pressure is priceless, right? You walk someone down long enough, they're going to break at some... Those, those kicks from Bokeh, you see that, that switch left kick uh, really landed quite hard to the body of Rikia Ampo. Bokeh's wearing a lot of punches, but he seems shot from here. And, but he seems somewhat unfazed, and it seems like Ampo's starting to slow down, maybe getting a bit of an oh. adrenaline dump. Huge left hook. Big shots from Ampo, Bokeh... Just unloading with his own, letting him know, hey, listen, you can let your volume go, but when I hit you, you're going to ask Jab for Ampo. He's going to have to stay on that the whole fight. Yeah, look at the combination work of Ricky. The, the power on that left hook and then the power on the kicks of Borkow, that knee through the middle. He's made a career out of under K1 rule set, you know. He, uh, long jab. And uh, worth noting that K1 Japanese legend, Bo, and for Borkow. As he pushes forward now, finds a home for those body shots. This is a banger, this fight. This is as good as it gets. We look at those calves. It's very hard to knock him off balance. That right arm of uh, Rikir Ampo, this is the this is the, the way that Borkow fights. He doesn't mind kicking into the forearms. He'll kick into those forearms all day long, so it's hard for you to throw oh, punch. Oh, big left hook. Oh, massive right hand for, for Ampo there. He's finding a home for his shots. Another oh, big left huge hook. left hook. Borkow walking him down, happy to get amongst it. Egging him on even. Oh, big, big kick. kick from Borkow again. Taking every shot that Ampo's got for him, just to land those body kicks. Those power kicks of Borkow. When, when, whenever you watch a, a Thai fighter fight, there's no absolutely just blast through everything. And again, but you see, yeah, Rikir sure. Ampo still got the power in his hands to keep Borkow at bay. He needs to keep that long jab in his face and keep that teeth. It's enough to maybe disrupt. Oh! Maybe just, just enough to disrupt kick. the entry of Borkow as he's coming in. But he's still walking him down, keeping the pressure on. Oh. He just does not take a backward step. And that catch and kick the leg, that's, that's doing a lot. Smiling at him now. He's found his rhythm. He's found his range. He's back. The, the K1 thing is back. I get, the, I get the feeling he gets tired. He's happy to mix it up in the pocket. He knows what's at stake. Uh, absolutely. Borkow oh. did uh, smell blood in the water. He's going after him. Look, this is the typical. This is the Borkow we're used to seeing of old. Just march forward. And Do we see the replay, Yeah, absolutely. Elliot? That clean oh, left took for that uh, a number of times tonight. Rikio Ampo has a number of knockouts now. Rikio Ampo. Just saying, like, go the body. Just telling him that he needs to start attacking from there. Up to the chin. He hasn't really wavered. He had a huge first round. Not so much in the second, but it's very even. We hit the third here. Might be a decider. Whoa, bat, massive left hook. The speed and power of that left hook from Ampo is absolutely... He's utilizing that T because he just keeps marching him down. Big body kick. That one hurt Ampo a little bit. And there's one straight back. Ampo's right hand is slipping down near his head. Right oh, hand huge right out. hand. Ampo goes back. back. Oh, this is massive for the fans. This is this is what rising kickboxing's all about. This is what K1's all about. But tonight, these guys, superstars for their own reasons, and they're not disappointing. <laughs> nice. Take a backward step. I've never seen him in his entire career take a backward step. He just marched in a huge left kick. Oh, and a big left hook again from Rikir kick. Ampo. And another one. Borkow for Ampo. Can he find enough in the tank? Oh, massive left hook. Can he find enough in There's the tank? There's also a contrast to Styles. Uh, but we finally see Borkow now starting to slow down and almost take a backward step, you know? It actually looked like that last jab kind of maybe hurt him a little bit. I'm not sure. In the shots now. Ampo hitting and moving and just making it a little harder for him to get hit. Oh, massive right hand. Oh! Oh my god, these guys swinging in the Dude, pocket. What a fight. Here we see the replay. Absolutely. Look at the, the power of the, the boxing from both of these guys. Borkow really utilizing that big power kicks. 
And look at this long sticky jab. Snap. There we have it. 30, 30, 30, 30, 29, 29.